What's on there guys? Earthmaster here checking in on this uh, January 1st, 2021. 9 p.m. West Coast time here. That sounds kind of strange. It almost sounds like we're living in the future. 2021. But then again, if you're my age, I'm not telling you my age. I'm not super old, but you know what? It does sound like we're in the future. Latest quake on the globe, a 4.4 out here in South America area. Pretty active out here uh, for the most part down here around Guatemala, southward into South America. Uh, far as the remainder of the Pacific Plate up there, right? Pacific Plate, North America, northward, all along the Aleutian Islands area, down through Japan, along the uh, uh, Philippines area and in Indonesia area, down through the Fiji Islands. Very, very quiet, very odd, very quiet. This activity down here is uh, old. That should be dropping off the qu uh, quake globe here pretty soon. So that tells you something, man. I tell you what, it's it's a flip-flop world when it comes to plate tectonics. I'm really surprised we haven't seen um, a whole lot of activity up here to the north, into North America, along the western part of the Pacific Ring of Fire. It's just very uncommon i mean i guess we've seen this uh stretch here a couple weeks ago uh there was about three or four days of very quiet activity here along the uh you know northwestern western part of the pacific ring of fire this this entire area folks i mean you for for the most part we can get rid of these two little quakes down here because they are um very old and there's they should be dropping off the 24-hour threshold very soon so what would that leave nothing no movement whatsoever at least far as um, the USGS is reporting there so for now 4.4 latest quake in the South America area big cluster of quakes in the uh, Guatemala area we'll go ahead and take a look at that a little bit closer on the uh, USGS flat scale map you can see the activity Ramping up over here in South America. Uh, let's see if we skip South America. Wow, how did we get way over there? Okay. You can see uh, that quake down there around the Chile area and a cluster of quakes up here um, further north, but really no major movement. All this is deep movement downstream of the subducting area along the Peru Chile Trench underneath. Very similar to the North American plate, but this is much bigger of a plate dynamic uh, compared to the uh, um, activity up here along the Juan de Fuca plate. Definitely some deep movement there, 124, 178, 113 kilometers below the surface there for those cluster of quakes. As we move up here and check out this little cluster near El Salvador, Guatemala City, Guatemala, Guatemala area. Uh, some moderate movement, not a whole lot of deep movement there, about 50 kilometers or so. Uh, largest quake, a 5.0 in that sequence. Even the Puerto Rico area, at least a 2.5 map, we'll go ahead and add the all magnitudes there. It does not make a big difference there. Only about 27 earthquakes around this region. Things calming down, but a little bit of activity further north into the uh, Peru Trench area, or Puerto Rico Trench, it was Peru. Puerto Rico Trench area up here to the north. This is an area we need to watch for uh, uh, potential mega quakes up here, uh, producing a mega tsunami, if, if it does indeed happen. Um, I did put out a video regarding that uh, possibility oh, a few months back. So if you're kind of interested in learning about this Peru, per Puerto Rico, not pretty sure why I keep saying Peru, Puerto Rico trench area, mega quake possibility, go check it out there on the channel. Or you can type it into uh, any any search bar and it should pop up the video here by the Earthmaster. Uh, West Coast, like I said, pretty quiet. There's not a whole lot of movement. Always some microquakes take place up there. It is a major plate boundary. A lot of fractures out here in the uh, spider web of fracture faults. Mostly on the San Jacinto Fault area. Latest quakes there zooming into the... Uh, what is that Redlands area? There's a couple small little microquakes underneath that uh, community out there, but other than that, there's not a whole lot of movement. Even up here in the north part of the uh, or central part of the state, a little small microquake out there along the San Andreas, or at least well, it looks like it might be off of it there. 
in between the San Andreas Fault and looks like the uh, Sargent Fault area southwest of Gilroy. Nevada is still seeing their little swarming of activity, but overall, the big picture here along the west coast, not a whole lot of uptick in activity. Um, over through the uh, Midwest in the Southern Plains area, Oklahoma, seen some snow. Lucky guys. I was watching that on a couple of my friends list or my friends uh, uh, Facebook page there, man. I'm pretty jealous. I am really jealous. Living out here in California, we pray for rain and we're so happy to get uh, a tenth of an inch of rain. At least here where I live. I think I need to either move along the coast, but then I'm right there at the uh, Cascadia subduction zone. I don't know. Who knows what 2021 is going to bring? I mean, there's a there's so much potential out there. So, activity kind of, you know, Oklahoma. Just seeing a few small quakes there in the uh, mid-2 range. Same for up in Idaho. Not a whole lot of movement. Uh, volcano activity in Washington. Really no earthquake activity at all to report. Some small quakes there, microquakes out there well southwest of the uh, Seattle Fault System and no new movement to report there at any volcanoes. Alaska seeing the uh, similar microquakes, a couple uh, deeper quakes kicking off. Um, let's see here. Inland, well inland, about 100 kilometers, but these are all these are all little expected daily quakes. If this ever stops, and the, I think plate tectonics had the completely stopped <laughs> it's just something that continues for uh, uh for quite some time there's always almost always movement going on alaska california in those regions but uh for now very quiet out here folks along the uh the other part of the pacific plate as we check out the uh yellowstone seismograph stations here real quick you can see not a whole lot of reports out there Uh, most of the stuff up here looks like it may be some type of wind interference as well over here at Madison River. Not for certain what this is about. This looks kind of odd. I don't believe this is any type of uh, magma movement or any type of uh, tectonic plate tectonic activity there. It also showed up on a couple other stations, but to me it looks as though this may be... Uh, and, and it's equal. This is very equal uh, as far as the uh, seismic uh, intensity. Very equal on these stations that are spread apart here. So some type of interference on the network, I believe, that's uh, recording these size, uh, size monitors there in the uh, southern part of the, uh, of the uh, Yellowstone caldera. There we go. Other than that, no swarms to report. Trimmer map, real quick, we'll check that out. Hmm. Today is very quiet. Let's go ahead and check yesterday, right? Remember that? Very quiet. No epicenters to report. We'll go back one more day. We've seen just a little bit of activity in southern Oregon and up around Seattle. So, past two days, a very, very quiet activity along the Cascadia subduction zone far as slow slip events go space weather events we'll go ahead and check that out real quick i don't believe we're looking at any major sunspots in fact the sun looks very quiet at the moment some departing sunspots away from the earth 2794 there looks just pretty uh stabilized not a whole lot of uh, potential for solar flares checking out the uh noaa forecast well, there you go. Everything's well below uh, any potential for worry at all. About 1% there. Uh, Near-Earth asteroids, looking pretty quiet. No major doom dayers to, to hit upon us, I guess. <laughs> at least from what they're telling us. And also, the uh, let's go ahead and check out the uh, Geomagnetic forecast, everything's pretty quiet there, folks, in that department. No storms predicted. So far as the aurora goes, looking pretty uh, looking pretty quiet out there. Not a good time to visit the aurora or the uh, Northland or step outside in the cold to see the northern lights. Just not a whole lot of potential out there for that activity. 
All right, folks, uh, jump off here and uh, enjoy the evening, I guess. Pretty quiet evening out here. We've got some rain coming in here in California over the next uh, or seven days or so. A lot along the coast. I mean, there's a major amount of rainfall that's going to hit along the uh, northern coast of uh, California and Oregon. That's kind of where I need to be, but that's such a dangerous, very dangerous spot when it comes to uh, earthquake activity. Right along this coastline here, it's just, it sucks up all the moisture before it moves inland into the uh, valleys of California. You get that death valley effect, right? The mountains produce uplift, sucks out all the moisture, and then uh, as you hit the Sierra Nevadas over here, you get that uh, uplift to create uh, more more precipitation. So kind of in a hole, you know, in, in a gutter, if you will, Sacramento gutter. <laughs> Not a name I would throw around out here, but uh, kind of feels like it when it comes to uh, weather out here. But but then again, people move out here because of the weather. But I'm not a sunny type of guy. I like the uh, I like storms. I like rain. You know what? Snow, ice, tornadoes, hurricanes. That is my department. So 2021, you know, here is to uh, cheers to more opportunities that's what i'm looking at further opportunities folks have a good night we're checking out of here um stay safe everyone we'll chat you guys tomorrow sometime peace